From the Mumbai studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Prime Minister has stunned everyone, stunned everyone except Republic, of course, by saying that his country has learned a huge lesson after three wars with India. They say we've learned such a lesson. We destroyed, he says. Republic is not stunned because we saw that coming, I saw that coming. But what stuns me is how the Pakistan-loving Lutyens media does not brandish this huge news to viewers across India. It's huge. It's an on-record admission. It is an official capitulation by Pakistan, which is telling the world officially through the Prime Minister of Pakistan, where the Prime Minister of Pakistan says that his country has been ruined by trying or dreaming of trying to take on India. This is a huge admission. But look there, viewers, the Latians media is covering up for Pakistan again. The Pakistan Prime Minister has gone on record to say that his country has been destroyed by taking on India, that his country has been brought to despair and poverty by getting into conflict with India. And he has said so on record. The truth is that because of the deft diplomacy and global clout of India, Pakistan is getting no help from the Arab world. No money from China either. The truth is that Pakistan realizes that if it has to survive, it has to come down and officially apologize to India. And that is what is happening. This is an official apology by the Prime Minister of Pakistan to the people and the government of India. And that is what Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has done. Of course, we reject his apology, but we note it. This is the moment. We must seize this. Moments like this don't repeat too often. This is an opportunity versus Pakistan that we must act on and we must debate. That's debate number one, viewers. The Pakistani Prime Minister says, and I quote, Pakistan has learned its lessons in three wars with India. Can it be bigger than that? Can it be bigger than that? Debate number one, debate number two this evening. As the BJP goes into very active mode for 2024, can they do what they say they will do? The BJP says it will get more numbers in 2024, more MPs than in 2019. Is it possible? Debate two. And debate number three this evening. We have smashed China at the UN Security Council. We have smashed China 14 to 1, and the UN has listed terrorist Abdul Rahman Maki being protected by China as a global terrorist. China loses its grip in the diplomatic battle with India and New York. That's debate number three, and here are the headlines this Tuesday evening on the debate tonight. Pakistan has learned its lesson. We had three wars with India. It only brought more miseries. And we want to live in peace with India. Shabazz Sharif says, Pakistan has learned its lessons after fighting three wars with India. Cornered and in a complete mess, India forces Pakistan to admit through its Prime Minister that they have learned a huge lesson by trying to take on India. The UN Security Council's ISI and Al Qaeda Sanctions Committee to list Lashkar e Taiba terrorist Abdul Rahman Maki, who is also the brother in law of LET leader Hafiz Saeed. India beats China UN at the UN Security Council 14 to 1. The UN designates Hafiz Saeed's brother in law as a global terrorist despite Beijing's attempt to shield him. 
with Nadda at the helm and PM Modi as the face. The BJP marches into election year with a clear blueprint. उन्नीस से भी ज्यादा बड़े बहुमत के साथ भारतीय जनता पार्टी चुन कर आएगी और मोदी जी फिर से इस देश के प्रधानमंत्री बनकर इस देश का नेतृत्व करेंगे Amit Shah declares the target that the BJP will breach the 2019 seat tally in 2024 but is that possible And 71 year old citizen fights back road rage case despite being dragged by a biker in Bengaluru Ladies and gentlemen this is a story we should watch very closely because battered by food shortage power crisis protests and terrorism Pakistan is finally finally it seemed come to its senses the prime minister of Pakistan Nole Shehbaz Sharif is saying that the people of Pakistan and the government of Pakistan and presumably therefore the Pakistani army have learned their lessons their lessons after three wars with India just like 47 65 71 and 99 pakistan's been forced to bend down on its knees this is the huge acknowledgement by the pakistani prime minister and then tonight we debate we have pakistan has learned its lesson pakistan has finally learned its lessons 75 years and four wars later pakistan has admitted that it stands no way close to india and it is up to us to live peacefully and progress or quarrel with each other and waste time and resources that's up to us we have pakistan has learned its lesson mm. we had three wars with india three and the consequence of those wars as a result it only brought more miseries to the unemployment to nations poverty and millions were uh, demoted from their level of satisfaction to a lower level mm -hmm. of satisfaction we have learned our lesson and we want to live in peace with india mm -hmm. provided we are able to resolve our genuine problems the false bravado that pakistan was trying to project till last month has finally fallen flat he was banned from entering this country until he became prime minister this is the prime minister of the rss and the foreign minister of the rss what is the rss The RSS draws its inspiration from Hitler's SS. Today, Pakistan is facing food riots, power crisis, and a complete revolt in Gilgit-Baltistan. Pakistan has been forced to go from nation to nation with a begging bowl. We would be able to. generate close to about 8 billion dollars domestically but we are looking forward to an amount of equal share of 8 billion dollars internationally we pushed them back in kashmir we pushed back pakistani infiltrators in 1965 we forced them to surrender in 1971 and won the Kargil war in 1999 with the economic military and social collapse of pakistan the terror state seems to have finally learned its lesson let's debate tonight viewers what a statement god of and i was thinking of the clownish doltish expression on this fellow bilawal's face he looks like such a clown when he was talking at the un and today his boss says listen bilawal listen bilawal he says gorav i have to say this i have to go down on all fours 
and say that we learnt our lessons. And they are saying it on record. And he's saying, the anchor tries to say, we, as in like India and Pakistan. No, no, he says, we, 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 the people of Pakistan have learnt our lessons, he says. Amazing. Just look at the, f just take a look at Abdul Samad Yaqub's face. He doesn't know what to say. Mona Alam, one day your prime minister goes and says that I have to beg. Another day he comes and says, listen, I have learnt my lessons by taking on, we have been destroyed, we are poor, we are in poverty, we have nothing to do, nothing to eat. We're really sorry, Brigadier Saeed Nazir, Azim Bhatt from Lahore, Husefa Farid from Islamabad. First of all, honesty, right? God of, honesty is the best policy. Good, good for him to say it. Right? Uh, no. He uh, says, I've uh, learned my lesson. Uh, you, 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 you know, Arnab, the surprising thing was when Shahbaz Sharif was saying that uh, we have fought three wars with India, he actually showed five fingers. He said, we have fought three wars with India. And the truth is, they have fought four wars with India. So I don't know. He said three. It's actually four. And he was gesturing five. That's number one. <laughs> number two, what Shabash Sharif did was, he took a U-turn. Because it's called Awal Pindi Zamar Padi Yogi. Now what Shabash Sharif says is that, boss, unless 370 and 35A, you know, they're brought back. We will not talk. This is very recent. As Four hours back, dawn flashed. Five hours back, dawn, fla dawn news flash this, uh, you know, breaking news that the Prime Minister of Pakistan says that, no, no. So, Arnab, you can't believe them. Whatever he might say, that might be in his heart. But you can't take what they say at face value. And, uh, you know, uh, there, I think, uh, uh, Zaif was his name, uh, uh, you know, Zaif, uh, Maulana Zaif, uh, or the ambassador of Taliban to, uh, to Pakistan. You know, when Pakistanis arrested him, they, they arrested their own guest and they sold him to the Americans. He said that the Pakistanis are two-faced. My Life with the Taliban is his book. And it makes for very interesting reading. He says they are, they are two-faced. You know, they have, they have two tongues and one mouth. And with each tongue, they speak two different languages. This is the Taliban ambassador to Pakistan talking about his host. No, but at the same host. time, so, Gaurav, uh, Arnab, that is it. No, but Gaurav, yeah. what is the significance, Smita, when a prime minister of a country whose entire policy has been about India, goes on record on a channel and says, I have been destroyed because we dreamt of fighting with India. We fought three wars. I have learnt my lessons. We have learnt our lessons. What is the implication, Smita? It's huge. Um, look, he's, he's gone to get aids for his country. He's gone to the UAE. He's going to Saudi Arabia. He's, the, between him and Bilawal, they're going all over the world trying to get aid. Are you going to get aid if you're going to say that I'm going to fight with India, not in this new world order, with India being hosting the G20 and the rest of the world looking at India uh, in various forms, whether it is at the G20, Quad or any other mm. or Indo-Pacific, everybody, the first thing they will tell a Pakistani prime minister is make up with your neighbor. You, we can't have giving you aid again and again and you being on this nuclear war brink all the time making threatening calls. So this is just posturing. Do you actually think that we should ever believe a Pakistani no, Why is he minister? saying it? Why is he saying no, it? No, no, I, I don't, I of said, course I don't believe. No, no, I don't believe. I, I for, the, for the record, let me say, in this life and in the next, I shall never believe a Pakistani. There's a problem. No, no, but, but that's not the point. The point yeah. is, why is he saying it? They need the money. They ah, they need the money, but they're not getting the money. The Arab world they, is telling them, you're not going to give you the money, go make up with India. Be nice to them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So That's they the point. need the money, so this is posturing just to get aid. Because I think, yeah. there's no way Shabash Sharif, remember he was chief minister when Hafiz Saeed was getting aid from him when he was and this chief is the same country you, no, it's, 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 it's this, this is blood. this is the same there's country. No way he can do this, it. this is the same country in ki halat dekhi aaj. I'm saying when I'm saying Ashok Pandit Ji, I'm saying when 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 I'm saying कोई कभी कहता है कि मैं चूहा नहीं हूं आपने कभी अभी सुना है अभी एवर हर्ड अभिजीत एनी वन एनी सेल्फ रिस्पेक्टिंग हेड ऑफ गवर्नमेंट जो कहा जाके इंटरनेशनल एसोसिएशन में कहते हैं मैं चूहा नहीं हूं 
I'm not a rat. Arnab, Arnab, no, no, no. And, and what Margaret Thatcher had to say, no. No, no. I, I'm talking about um, someone if else. You ha- if you have to say that you're a woman, then you promise. No, 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 no. But, but, but the That's point is, no, no. The point is, he said. I'm not a rat, and he also followed up by saying, "I would rather go back to a to a destroyed Pakistan." And Mona, today Zulfikar Ali's Bhutto's statement has come true. Only his grandson is the foreign minister of a destroyed Pakistan. So when he has this doltish, clownish, stupid expression on his face, you know, no, the, the, and when his boss goes and says two weeks after that you, that I'm really sorry, you, I'm really sorry. Oh when he says, oh when he says, Mona, when he says, who's Mona, remotely, who's remotely democratic or progressive? You, you are, you just tend to hate them. Oh, it's okay. I don't hate anyone. I don't hate anyone. Well, my point. Person, to do with being democratic or progressive. I don't want to get into a personal fight, okay, Mona? I don't want to waste my time over this fellow. Making fun of our foreign minister and his physical appearance. I mean, he's a he's a handsome young man. I don't understand. I, your I'm not talking about physical appearance. I, don't I said I said a doltish why, expression. Why is it, yes, Do you know now. what the meaning of a I doltish don't expression don't is? It's stupid expression. There's nothing nothing about physical experience. Okay. Uh, no, you said clownish. Obviously, you're taking, clownish. You're taking physical. Dignity. Clownish. It's anyway, you know. Anyway, below dignity to go to that level or Anyway, that my, my question is, I, 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 I give dignity to people who deserve it. I think your foreign minister doesn't deserve the slightest bit of dignity. Now my question be. Okay, I understand. Sorry, my bad. Can I ask you a question? My mistake. Don't don't say my bad and those colloquialisms on my program. My question is. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I take that back. Sorry. Uh, sorry okay. to be expecting dignity from you. But, you know, it's it's not decent to take... Physical appearances, dig I did you know, not make a goes, comment on physical appearances. This, this is the problem. This is you don't teach English well anymore in Pakistan. That. Doesn't seem like only because he's a progressive person. I've I've heard you making such digs at Rahul Gandhi too because he's a Democrat <laughs> and he's a progressive man. So you hate him. He's not. Can the Pakistanis Uncle stop so using every opportunity to fight for Rahul Gandhi? I, I just it's no, embarrassing. No, I, I know you love I Rahul have, Gandhi, I but you, please don't. I, I, I show no what's going on every time the Pakistanis are on my program. Bilawal and Rahul are good. Bilawal and Rahul are good. Did I make a comparison? I spoke about the doltish expression on, on Bilawal's face. Ar- Ar- now Ar- my Ar- question is, no, 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 one minute, one. Question being, Brigadier Saeed Nazir, why did Shehbaz Sharif say that we have learnt our lessons? Please. Yes, first of all, let me tell you that uh, the way you are making fun of Bilawal, I suppose his face is an expression of much better than the Bush. Once you understand that. Second thing, the way you are shouting, probably you are not understanding the language of peace. You only understand the language of war and kicks. So that kicks are always in our pockets and in our backyard that we can use. And we have used it many a times. There may be three wars, there may be six wars. But mind it, <laughs> India, it, its size, its population, and its economy and everything. But still Pakistan the is the, the solid rock standing in front of it. You. And that's why so many cries are Anna coming Pyar. from this Anna channel Pyar, as well Pyar, as from Pyar, India. Lala's what lala's what Bilawal said, that was the lala's exact lala's description of the Prime Minister. Mr. They have Mr. turned Modi, into beggars. Who is the butcher of Gujarat they have turned into beggars. the butcher of minorities. Arda Narendra Modi so has, 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 has pushed them down. Because the wall, and they have been terms, turned into beggars. You, you, you don't understand. This country because has become a country of you, terror. The way you express oh this country that it has lost its basic clown. foundation. This then country, this country has no clown. base now. The way you so they are so desperate. It is just they, 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 they are in such a pathetic condition that they don't know what to do. And the desperation has made the prime minister of Pakistan. To say abuse it. that that you so know uh, we, you are we are ready to make friendship with you, and that's why they apologize. Mind your language. Because India has pushed them across the wall, and India has made them into beggars. They are into a begging stage. That's why they are so desperate and asking India to let us create friendship. But the point is, Azim. we don't realize the prime minister of this country is Narendra Modi. Azim. Narendra Modi understands what the truth is. Pakistan oh, can be defined only as a terror nation. They have been exporting terrorists even now. 
and do they understand or do they expect that India will trust them? India will okay, I, them? Okay, I, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. 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 You see, Pakistan is in a very strange situation. And let me tell you the historical perspective. Abhijit will appreciate this. Azim uh, and Huzeva, you are a political activist and a journalist from Lahore. You know, in 1965, you said, this same fellow, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, he said, we will eat grass. Hum ghas khayenge, magar atom bum banayenge. You remember that, Abhijit? Abhijit? We will eat grass, but we will make the atom bomb. Hai na? Aapne banay. To ye kaisi vidambana hai, kaisi contradiction hai, kaisi irony hai. Ha? Ki aaj pachpan se zada saal baad, aap, you have the atom bomb and you are still eating grass. Yes. No, Smita, don't laugh. No, Smita, Smita, now tell Abhijit, tell Smita not to laugh. It wasn't one. I am making a factual comment. It has become the same. We eat grass because we made the bomb. No, he also said, no, actually the full statement I will tell you. He said, if India builds the bomb, we will eat grass or we will eat leaves. He said, we will eat grass and we will eat leaves. We will eat leaves, we will eat leaves, but we will make an atom bomb. Do you have an atom bomb? So why are you eating leaves and leaves? And you are saying to the Pradhan Mantri that we are saying, we have got a lot of knowledge, we should never take on India. We have been destroyed, we have been ruined. Hussefa and Asim say something. Do you say something? Your Prime Minister has said that we have learned the lessons of trying to take on India. This is a very big thing. How do you read it, Asim? Yeah, thank you, Anur. Look, that is true. We are the factual thing that we believe that the three wars have been lost. Your work is less than us. But our work is more than us. The reason for that was that being a political activist and journalist, I was going to talk about the fact and the truth. We have been doing the work that we have been doing. We have been doing the work that we have been doing. We have been doing the work that we have been doing. We have been doing the work that we have been doing. उसकी रीजन ये थी कि आपके यहाँ सारी जंगों के साथ और तमाम चीजों के साथ पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम मजबूत रहा आपने इकोनॉमी पे अपनी तवज्जो दी आपने बाकी चीजों के ऊपर तवज्जो दी हमारे यहाँ सिर्फ यही नारा जो आपने अभी सुना दिया जुल्फ कारली भुट्टो साहब का भी कि हम घास खा लेंगे एटम हम बना लेंगे इसके अलावा हम लोगों ने कुछ नहीं किया और उसका नतीजा आज हम भुगत रहे हैं और इस बात की टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट यहाँ पर पाकिस्तान के अंदर जितने भी यंगस्टर्स हैं और फैक्ट के साथ देखने वाले पढ़ने वाले हिस्टोरिकल प्रोस्पेक्टिव को हैं वो इस चीज को समझते हैं कि मेरा ख्याल है कि वो ज्यादती हुई कि हम लोगों ने सिर्फ एक नारे की बुनियाद के ऊपर सिर्फ 75 साल में हमारा एक ही आइडियोलॉजी रही कि हिंदुस्तान हमारा दुश्मन है हमें उसके साथ अगर हमें ये आइडियोलॉजी रखनी भी है तो रखिए अच्छा है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ अपने मुल्क के लिए भी कुछ करें हमारे मुल्क ने कुछ नहीं किया सुनिए मोना जी आने बोलिए बोलिए आप आप खुलकर बोलिए आप 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 अच्छा बोल रहे हैं आप बोलिए आप जैसे तीन चार और पाकिस्तानी हो जाए तो सच बोले तो बहुत अच्छा मैं सिर्फ ये कहना चाहूंगा कि देखें जी नहीं बिल्कुल हम हम सच को मानते हैं इसमें कोई दोराये नहीं हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने भी वही बात कही है कि तीन जंगों से हमें नुकसान हुआ है और नुकसान आम आम का हुआ है अनफॉर्चुनेटली होता ये है कि जनाब जितने जो इलीट होती है वो तो निकल जाती है उसको फर्क नहीं पड़ता है कि क्या मामला था क्या नहीं है मेरे जैसे यहाँ अभी हमारे पैनलिस्ट जो हैं हम लोग हम लोगों जैसे जो हैं वो यहाँ पर पिसते हैं और भूख अफलास जिसके बाद हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने भी सेम इल्फाज बोले कि भूख अफलास हालत बुरी हुई और वो हमारी हुई हालत बुरी और आज तक हम उसको भुगत रहे हैं और फिर जो बात ये है कि अभी जो तमाम मामलात के अंदर फिर मैं अगेन यही बात करूंगा कि इस तमाम दर सूरत हाल के अंदर हिंदुस्तान ने जो चीज अच्छी है वो फैक्ट जो फैक्ट है उसको मानना पड़ेगा कि हिंदुस्तान ने बाकी चीजों के ऊपर ध्यान दिया उन्होंने अपने मुल्क को भी सवारा हमने मुल्क को नहीं सवारा हम एक तरफ लगे रहे और उसका नुकसान आज आज हम भुगत रहे हैं और पाकिस्तान की 90 परसेंट जो कि आवाम है वो पीस ट्रीटी ही जाती है वो कभी नहीं जाती है कि हिंदुस्तान को बोलिए इनको बोलिए किसी के साथ भी लड़ाई हो हम लोग पीस ही चाहते हैं हम लोग चाहते हैं कि हमारे आपस में उसी तरह रिलेशनशिप हो अमन के अमन के साथ बराबरी की बुनियाद के ऊपर भाईचारे की बुनियाद के ऊपर हम लड़ना नहीं चाहते हैं लड़ाई करने वाले जो ऊपर 
पांच दस परसेंट बैठे हुए हैं मेरा ख्याल है कि उनको भी पचहत्तर साल बाद ही सबक सीख लेना चाहिए कि लड़ाई का नुकसान है नहीं ये क्या है ये ये देखिए ये ये देखिए ये सुन बहुत समझदारी की बात मैं तो मैं तो कहूंगा आपको कि इतनी समझदारी की बात आपने कही है और मैं चाहता हूं सारे लोगों को स्क्रीन पे लाएं देखिए आप ये जो हमारे मोना आलम जैसे लोग हैं अब्दुल समद याकूब जैसे लोग हैं ये ब्रिगेडियर सही नजर आए साई जो कहती है इनको वो कह देते हैं इनको कहिए कि इस तरह की बात वो सुने है ना ये लोग इतने झूठे हैं आपके बारे में नहीं बोल रहा मगर ये मोना मोना आपको बताता हूँ मैं मोना आपको मैं बताता हूँ कि मैं 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 मोना आपको मैं बताता हूँ मोना मैं बताता हूँ आपको माना मोना मैं बताता हूँ प्रोग्राम कम ये डेंटोनिक का एड लग रहा था कोलगेट का एड लग रहा था एवरीबॉडी वो लीग इन स्माइल्स एंड दिस वाज भाई ये देखिए किसका कोलगेट का मैं इधर फ्री एडवर्टाइजिंग नहीं देता इस प्रोग्राम Our country makes you laugh. Our country makes you happy. Our country is self-contented. So we don't have a problem. That's exactly what you're talking about. That's exactly what you're talking about. That's exactly what you're talking about. No, 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 no. One, 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 one. I, I want to get an Abhijit now. We don't kill people here. No, I want to okay. get an Abhijit. I'll come to the yeah, moot yeah, yeah. point. And you know, you know, the young I'm... activist from from Lahore, his name is Azim Bhatt. He said something absolutely correct and on the ball. He should be complimented by 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 these. Uh, you know, extreme thinking people like Brigadier Saeed Nazir, but they are quiet. Why don't you invite Arunthati uh, uh, Roy on the panel, and why don't you? But, why don't you invite? But, but, you people like how much danger this brave young man is in. Understand, everybody gets a knock on the door all, at night at by the uh, ISI. Okay. No, but how now many they young can't. people like this who have the guts to speak the truth no, but have now they disappeared can't. at night? No, now they can't. I'm sure that Husafa Farid, Husafa, please come forward. Another young journalist there from. From Islamabad, let the voices of reason come forth in Pakistan right now. And Hosefa, you realize today, you know, you have your whole professional and personal future right there in front of you. Your prime minister has just gone on record in a historic statement, has said that we have learnt our lessons after three wars with India. We have learnt our lessons. Now, this is something which, which all of Pakistan was welcome, right? Especially at a time when the when the when the country is in such a bad economic situation. What do you think? It's a very significant statement in my view. What do you think, Josefa? First of all, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, yes, the Prime Minister said that. But if you look at the context of, uh, of his speech, we can understand. Uh, every time Pakistan looks for the uh, for the peace, not, uh, not Pakistan only, every powerful country around the world, they are actually look for the, for the peace, especially in, in this region. Let's suppose that India and Pakistan go to war, two nuclear uh, countries go to war. What is going to happen to them? Uh, 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 no. to the national community. No, if, we, if we talk like that, but what uh, what actually I love that India is always bragging about the past. You, are, you still love, uh, you still live uh, in the past. Yes, you went three war up to you, okay. But I think the last clash, the last clash in 2019, show us the real face of India that you are nothing uh, 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 compared to Pakistani. We already. अरे भाई उजेफा उजेफा देखिए उजेफा I'm sorry उजेफा you're saying we live in the past and you are talking about the past yourself अब आगे की बात करो यार आगे की बात करते हैं ना आगे क्या करने वाले हो पहले आपके वजीर आला आजम ने बोला है कि हिंदुस्तान के साथ समझौता करना चाहते हैं 24 घंटे के बाद बोलते हैं नहीं नहीं समझौता तभी होगा जब ये सब होगा भाई आपके Sir, let's, uh, let me interrupt you here. Yes, we look for the peace. And yes, we learn from the past as well from the past. Yes, past, India. forward, future. Ki baat mat no, 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 Smita is on. One second. No, no, yeah, I get Smita and Gaurav on the standing. debate. I get Smita and Gaurav on the left. And right now, the debate is going to get really serious and straightforward. And I'd like to bring in Abdul Samad, Samad Yaqub. Very confused man, looking left, right, and centre. He's thinking, how do I get out of the program today? And look at Brigadier Said Nazir. Just look at his face today. He doesn't know what to say. And I'll tell you what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is in the 270 acre farm. The the problem is the problem is the problem. I'll tell you the problem, Abdul Samad. The problem is with the 270 acre farm, right? That Bilawal Bhutto's parents bought in the United Kingdom. The problem is with the 400-acre farm they have illegally, allegedly acquired in Europe. 
एंड एट दैट टाइम टू फूल द पीपल ऑफ पाकिस्तान दे नीडेड टू से समथिंग तो मैं नजर भुट्टो आके कहती थी वी विल सपोर्ट द कश्मीरी कॉल फॉर सेल्फ रिटर्मिनेशन लेके रहेंगे कश्मीर लेके रहेंगे कश्मीर शी टू से इन दैट यू नो इन दैट एक्सेंट वॉट केम ऑफ इट द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज दैट यू नीड टू गो आउट देर इन पब्लिक टूडे and tell the people of your country that we were fooling you and making a lot of money using the kashmir name we have bled your country we have built castles and mansions in europe united kingdom and across the united states of america we have sucked the money out of pakistan and we are now bone dry abdul samad yakub we have no way to go i'm telling you you have no idea what's going to happen in pakistan abdul samad yakub i hope you packed your bags and bought your ticket I think you have. The time has come. Do you realize that you you must say today? Oh, don't shake your head like that. Don't you shake your head? We have we have. I have every comment you people have in bleed India with a thousand cuts. Zia ul haq. <coughs> Zia ul haq. Yes. Yeah. Zia ul haq with that Vaseline mustache. Bleed India with a thousand cuts. What happens today? What's happening in South Pradesh, Waziristan? Arey, boy, TTP has made its own government. आप इस्लामाबाद में बैठ के हैमबर्गर खा रहे हैं यू अंडरस्टैंड योर कंट्री इज ब्रोकन इट्स नॉट ब्रोक इट्स ब्रोकन नो रिस्पॉन्स दे लॉस्ट देर फाइटिंग स्पिरिट देव लॉस्ट देर फाइटिंग दे डोट नो वॉट इज गोइंग फॉर गोटिंग स्विट विच वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम द फोर हेड ऑफ राजीव गांधी वन ही वॉज फेयर बाई जियाउल हक ऑन द थार्मिक What happened to him? Have you forgotten that? Yeah, yeah. ये अरनब ये कुछ ना कुछ झूठ अपने पाकिस्तानी बोलते रहते हैं। अब तो समझ यकूब साहब आप बोलिए ये पता नहीं ब्रिगेडियर साहब क्या आज ब्रिगेडियर साहब खाना वाना खाया आपने आज की नहीं खाया सर? अच्छा मेजर साहब खाना खा कर आए हैं आप? मेजर साहब listen मेरा listen आप बोलिए आप बोलिए सर आप बोलिए आप बोलिए सर आप बोलिए आप बोलिए सर three not four wars अरे हो जो हो जो हो जो हो जो रे वाला हो जो रे वाला � जो बात है ना दिस वॉज एक्चुअली पॉलिसी ऑफ असलम बेग इट वॉज एंड पॉलिसी ऑफ जियाउल now now let, let me come to the subject uh, my response my immediate response on the prime minister statement was kande ko andhere mein badi dur ki suchi so this puppet clown prime minister who could no longer stood with this uh, with this statement and uh, take it back i mean reverse it back immediately pindi walon ne jab pindi walon ne jab danda dikhaya pindi walon ne to na da gir gaya sajde mein jab waqt hai kya maya मोदी को बुचर ऑफ इंडिया यहाँ पे कहना और यहाँ से फुल स्टॉप लगाना है ठीक है सो दिस पपट दिस पपट फॉरन मिनिस्टर दपट प्राइम मिनिस्टर दिस दीज क्लाउन नो आई मीन दे हैव नो से दे हैव नो अथॉरिटी एट ऑल इनको तो डंडा आता है और ये फिर गिर जाते हैं सजदे इस, इसकी एक सिग्निफिकेंस है स्टेटमेंट के ऊपर इसकी इसकी एक इसकी एक इसकी एक बहुत सिग्निफिकेंस है देखिए मैं एक बात आपको कहना चाहता हूं मेरी बात सुनिए देखिए अब्दुल समाद याकूब जी जब एक पाकिस्तानी भारत के नंबर वन चैनल पे आके कहता है कि मेरे प्राइम मिनिस्टर जो है जोकर है क्लाउन है दोगलापन करते हैं दोगलेबाज है है ना जब ऐसी बात की जाती है तो हम भी सोचते हैं हम भी सोचते हैं हमें अच्छा लगता है मगर हमें बुरा भी लगता है अच्छा लगता है कि आप अपने अ, अपने अपने प्रधानमंत्री को एक इसका हिंदी रूपांतर क्या है गौरव आपकी हिंदी बहुत अच्छी है क्लाउन का मतलब विदुषक विदुषक ओके तो आप अपने प्राइम मिनिस्टर को क्लाउन कह रहे हैं और आप अपने मोना आलम आपको प्रॉब्लम क्या है अच्छा मोना आलम फिर शुरू हो गई दिस कंप्लीट कंफ्यूजन इन पाकिस्तान आप देखिए भाई मेरी बात सुने अर्नब अर्नब लिसन टू मी मैं कुछ कहूं There's a limit to to intellectual dishonesty, and uh, you you I mean you surprise me every time. I always tend to think that I know the limit that you can go to, but you always kind of breach your own benchmark. 
So kudos to you for that. I mean, wonderful. No, no, you said you no, should you should let your audience know. Let me tell you. Abdul Samad Yaqub is a representative of the PTI, and I have full full points. I have full points for him for being a representative of the PTI. So he is an opposition member. Is well, there a Congress be, member on the panel? No, no, one minute. Hello, anyone from Congress here? One minute. I did I did no one sec one sec. Abdul Samad Yaqub used to be the spokesperson of PPP. Now he is with the PTI, but he is a Pakistani. No, no, I, I never been the He's spokesperson. He's a Pakistani, of but he has Sorry, a party. Sorry, I, I was never. Okay, now you are with the you are with Imran Khan. Okay, whatever. But Mona, but Mona, listen to me. Is there a Congress person on the panel? Yes or no? And if there isn't, then this, this debate the is disbalanced. These people, you I the wonder, God, uh, 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 Ashok, Ashok, are you noticing the Pakistanis only keep demanding the Congress for the Congress for Rahul Gandhi? Why, please listen. It's okay, yar. अरे बाबा तो आप आप अपने ऑपोजिशन को भी तो लाओ ना नाउ नाउ हमारे ऑपोजिशन को आप ले रहे हो अपने ऑपोजिशन को भी लाओ ओसो ओसो द पाकिस्तानी सो द नहीं 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 अभिजीत शी इज़ सेइंग इफ यू गेट अ कांग्रेसमैन ऑन द प्रोग्राम ही विल स्पीक फॉर पाकिस्तान दैट्स व्हाट यू आर Please no, don't be so open about it. He'll he'll show the mirror to your Mona, Mona, do you know? government. Anyway, I go back Mona, to the point. See, Mona. Know. See, Mona. No, no, no. I don't take this lightly. No, no. I I I don't take this lightly. I don't take this lightly. You can. No, no, no. I I don't take this. No, 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 no. I I don't take this lightly. You can you can you can accuse me of a lot of things, and I will take it. I will take it smilingly. No, but she can't. No, no, but Ashok, she can't accuse me of intellectual dishonesty. What does she mean? Can she can she I get into a real challenge with me? How can a Pakistani do that? A Pakistani. Viewers, I'll tell you one thing. There is a partisan. She has. वहाँ तो intellect है ही नहीं. नहीं नहीं एक मिनट. God, Ashok, देखिए. I I tell you. नहीं होगा. ठीक है नहीं होगा. Ashok जी ठीक है नहीं होगा. कोई मसला नहीं. लेकिन पता तो चले ना पता चले कि भाई एक पीटीआई रिप्रेजेंटेटिव है ही रिप्रेजेंटिंग इस पार्टी मगर उन्होंने आपके प्राइम मिनिस्टर को क्लाउन कहा आपके प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने कुछ कहा है आपके प्राइम मिनिस्टर क्या हमने बुलवाया एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट अशोक 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 क्या रहे पीटीआई का बंदा और क्या बोलेगा शबाब मैंने पीटीआई के पीटीआई के बंदे को हमने पीटीआई के बंदे खुद आके बोल दे कि हम आपके हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर क्लाउन है वो ठीक कह रहे हैं ना बाबा बगैर इनविटेशन के दिस नो ठीक कह रहे हैं। You are also saying another Pakistani is calling the Prime Minister clown. What's going? Shmita did you hear this? There's complete confusion in Pakistan. So who's the clown? I want to know. What was their objection to you calling Bilawal a clown? The objection. I said. What the objection they had is you calling Bilawal a clown. They don't mind. I said no, no, no. Shmita, Shmita, Shmita. Smita, Smita, I'll tell you one thing. Smita, I'll tell you one thing. अरे मैं मोना मोना I want minute please I need one this is going out of control. I must understand tell you I have very accurate use of the English language. One subject I have been very good in through my entire childhood has been English. I did not call him a clown. I called his expression clownish. Okay, equal doltish. I didn't call him a clown. So yeah, don't overreact. Arey, listen, now, now, they they have a problem about you calling the foreign minister clown, I, but no, they don't no, have no. a problem about no. calling Shabash Sharif a clown. No, but That's Shabash Sharif, Mona, Mona, no, no, Mona, Mona, no, one second, Mona, I'll go back to the serious debate now. I'll go back to the seat, Mona, 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 I accuse, Mona, Mona, forget who called whom a clown. The fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is that, you know, the fact. There's no rhyme or reason to call Arnab neutral, but I would like to assume that you can him being say. the moderator of the show. Yeah, it's, see, Mona, the thing is, let's get very serious. We have a situation today where the Prime Minister of Pakistan. I, I uh, by the way, what makes you ever think I'm a moderator? Do I look moderate by any stretch of imagination? Am I moderate? I'm the least moderate person. I'm almost a panelist. Stop laughing, Gaurav. I'm just being honest. I'm not being facetious. Thank you, Gaurav. My, my, yeah, I'm clear. I'm on the India-Pakistan debate. Hello, I'm not going to be neutral. Uh, now my question is, okay, okay. My question is that we go back to the serious subject, and the subject is serious. That the Prime Minister of Pakistan has said today that my country has learned a lesson after three wars with India. Okay. Uh, Double standards. Uh, bring it aside, Nazir. Now, she says I'm dis intellectually dishonest. Who's intellectually dishonest? Musharraf said that Pakistan wanted dialogue with India six months before 2611. Six months before the 2008 
Mumbai terror attacks, Musharraf was saying Pakistan wanted to resolve all things with dialogue with India. One minute, I'll give you an example. I'm not intellectually Mumbai dishonest. Indeed. You and the whole lot of Pakistanis are a bunch of intellectually compromised and dishonest, double-faced geniuses. You have no idea what you're talking about. Let me tell you, you know, you, 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 can you want to have today a prime minister after saying, we have learned our lessons, I want to have talks. Can there be talks with those who protect the terrorists that attacked a CRPF bus, martyring 44 of our jawans, February 2019, after General Bajwa had tried to use the ISI to reach out to raw law in a sham peace process? You want to have this peace process, then you want to do this? Today, what has happened is Brigadier Saeed Nazir, your Prime Minister, who knows the internal your security Prime issues. Minister, ask the question. Ask the question. Yeah, so my question is, my question is that 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 today your Prime Minister is trying to say we have learnt our lesson, we won't do it again. I'm very sorry. Let's talk. And Gaurav Arya told you we're not gonna talk. We've seen yes, through we you. We have learned the lesson, but India has not learned a lesson. Do you want to give oh. you another lesson? Oh, I suppose we are capable to give you another lesson that you should what also... A broke country that exports way, donkeys is threatening India. Talking that he has fought four wars. They are not four. For God's sake, you must differentiate the... between a war and a skirmish. No. There, there, there is a difference. So please, what was Kargil? There, there were three wars, Kargil not four was a wars. War. And second thing is, sir, let me tell you... Gaurav, ye, ye that what, military what, strategies... What, sir, 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 of peace. Who walked out of the peace. After their breakfast briefing to oh, the oh. your journalist. So oh, that's right, why right. you right. want to talk sir, hold on. Chenab Farmuda, Bri which was for the Kashmiris. I, I don't know so whether they teach you, you, been whether they teach been you been officer like qualities in the Pakistan Army. And Brigadier Sam, do they teach you officer like qualities in the Pakistan Army? You keep on interrupting everybody. Sir, what do you teach in PMA Kakul? Sir, one minute, sir, one minute, sir, sir, one minute. Sir, sir, you're not making sense. I beg your pardon, sir. Please give me a minute. Okay, sir, I'll tell you. You started all the wars with India. Yeah, yeah. And your generals are on record. General Akbar Khan, Major General Akbar Khan, raiders in Kashmir, Pakistan Army. All right? Friends, not masters. Ayub Khan, 1965 war. Homadur Commission, which was set to investigate human rights violations in Bangladesh. Please read that document. In the line of fire, 1999, Kargil War, sir. So, Bob, you have a good Well You have a good thing. 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 You a sidekick from sir, China it, in Ladakh. Uh, I'll tell you, sir. And then you I, I'll tell you, sir. Fight. Sir, you such, know, such language, sir, 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 such language does not behoove yeah. a brigadier of the Pakistan Army, sir. Oh, sir, please don't humiliate your army. Please don't yeah. insult your army, sir. Sir, you are supposed to show officer-like yeah, qualities on television, sir. Bakshi, sir, you Bakshi should, you should, journal. you should, journal sir, Bakshi you should show, sir, you he should show officer-like qualities, sir. Don't show, sir, don't show such qualities. It does not behoove an officer. Sir, officer of Gitara Bad Kariya, sir. You're not talking like yes. an officer, sir. Yes, Unfortunately. Sir. I'm sorry I'm to say. I'm quoting your journal. When, I'm sir, sir, no. You are general. I'm, sir, I'm, I'm, quoting your, I'm quoting your president. I'm quoting your army chief. I'm quoting General Ayub Khan, who was the Maibab of Pakistan. I'm quoting Parvez Musharraf, who was your president and army chief. I'm yes, quoting all these people, sir. What are you saying? You, you, were, you, you are quoting the Kashmir. You betrayed them. Sir, sir, you came into, sir, you came into Kargil. You came into Kargil, you came into Kargil and your Prime Minister fell at the feet of Bill Clinton asking for forgiveness. White House con gaya tha, Big Bang ne. White House con gaya tha, sir, Big Bang ne. Bill Clinton gaya tha, maaf. Bill Clinton ke paas Nawaz Sharif gaya tha. Shabaz Sharif ka bhai. Je maaf kar do, zor, maaf kar do. Indians ko bolo ki hame, rasta dene vapis jane ka maar ban rahi hai. Kargil, how many cases you picked up? You, I'll, you tell you, sir. I'll tell you, sir. I'll tell you. Can I tell you? I'll tell you. Okay. Just okay, okay. okay. Brigadier Sahib, let me tell you. We suffered, we no, suffered no, no, 527 no. casualties. We suffered 527 no, no, no. casualties. But Brigadier Sahib, we owned up every casualty. Brigadier Sahib, we owned up every casualty. You don't have to die with your soldiers. You don't have to die with your soldiers. 
سر تیرا جیک ریف نے تیرا جیک ریف نے ان کا جنازہ جنازہ پڑا تھا تھرٹین جیک ریف ریک در نمازہ جنازہ یو لیفٹ یا سولجرز ٹو ڈائی آن دا پیکس آف کارگل یو ڈیڈ نٹ پک اپ دے ڈیڈ بوڈیز پوائنٹ ایز دا موڈ دا موڈ دا موڈ پوائنٹ دا موڈ پوائنٹ دا موڈ پوائنٹ دا دا موڈ پوائنٹ چوروں کی طرح آئے اور چوروں کی طرح چھوڑ کے چلے گئے who left them bruised in kashmir Achha, uh, brigadier brigadier i don't want to so i don't want to bring joke, back your service record but let joke. i don't want to bring up your service record i don't want to bring up your own service record but the fact is that you were one of the 90000 soldiers and prisoners of war who were captured you had to bend down lay your arms salute the indian army and you know why because a person called field marshal manik shaw put a warning to you and you know what field marshal manik shaw told the pakistanis he says you pakistanis surrender or we will wipe you out after that you had said we will not do this again we have learnt our lesson mona again after 51 years you are saying this time we have learnt our lesson you understand that are you are you no. suffering from short term memory loss why why isn't anyone talking about 2019 abhinandan who was returned to india after much begging from all mona, of mona, you mona mona and mona mona tell me one thing backdoor diplomacy from Mo, all mona mona why your member of parliament said hey, hey, aapki hey, army chief ki taaniyan kaap rahi thi maathe pe paseena tha no nahi gorav main to forget it baat bole gorav batao chodo bajwa bajwa ki bajwa ki taaniyan kaap rahi thi ki nahi kaap rahi thi bajwa ki bajwa ki taaniyan kaap rahi thi ki nahi kaap rahi thi ye batao shivering aur bajwa ki taaniyan kaap rahi thi ki nahi kaap rahi thi ye batao maathe pe paseena tha ki nahi ashok baat kar de mona na kare don't taaniyan kaap rahi thi bajwa ki taaniyan kaap rahi thi general bajwa ki aapke are points score kya kya bol rahe hain आपके पार्लियामेंट में बोलते हैं उसकी कोई सेंटिटी नहीं है के बहुत से आपके पार्लियामेंट में स्टेटमेंट्स आपके कांग्रेस और बीजेपी आपस में देते हैं बताइए بات <laughs> होनी चाहिए आई वुड हैव रिस्पेक्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर आई मीन इफ ही वुड हैव स्टूड विद हिस स्टेटमेंट आई मीन सिंस आफ्टर फी और ही टुक बैक हिस स्टेटमेंट आई मीन द वे ही रिवर्स हिस स्टेटमेंट दैट सेड दैट द टॉक्स विद एडीआई इज इंपॉसिबल वो हैज टू टॉक विद यू गॉट टू स्पीक दैट आई मीन दिस नॉट अबाउट टॉक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टेटमेंट अबाउट लर्निंग हिज लेसन he can't take back that statement or he can't say i said 4 hours back we learned our lessons now i want to change that he can't stand that statement the statement is made the statement is made very honest they should have learned the lesson right after the kargil war i mean the the way oh. they have lost the kargil war they should have learned the lesson from there but uh, i believe that they still glorify you know the kargil Smita? war i mean it's amazing look uh, uh, arnab i think uh, we cannot Uh, take words are cheap in that country just because he said it as i again reiterate it was the need of the hour simply because he needed to get uh, he get needed to get the loans he's also said and i'm reading out this my message to the indian leadership and prime minister narendra modi is that let us sit down on the table and have serious and sincere talks 
to resolve our burning issues like Kashmir. They will never change. They will never change, uh, Arnab. So just because he said in one interview doesn't mean that he has iske piche topi hai. Ultimately, the topi will reign supreme in Pakistan. And that is because whatever is the India policy is dictated by uh, the army and not by Shabazz Sharif. So just remember, and when you were talking about uh, Bilawal saying this and, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Bilawal's grandfather saying, let's eat grass, he's the kind who will tell his people to eat grass and eat foie gras. Yeah. Whereas Bilawal is the kind who's telling these, making these comments and then vacationing abroad. He even within a few uh, hours, I think, after he said this in the UN, he was with children in some school where they don't even have footwear in that school. Nange pair khade the wo bachche. Yeah, and you are seeing food riots in Pakistan while this man is supposed to be very smartly attired. And the and elite of there's no, uh, Pakistan talk yeah. about how they like the way well, but, that but he this, dresses but this and debate he looks has been a, But this debate has been a, a, a real, real, real revelation, ladies and gentlemen. An eye-opener. And I just want to say to everyone watching tonight, if you have anyone in Pakistan, please call them up. Help them in some way. They're in terrible situation. They have, they have you, know, you know, they have just about $3 billion of forex reserves. That is less than the turnover of maybe any one of the top 1,000 companies in India. They're, any one company in India out of the top 1,000 would have perhaps higher valuation than, uh, than the foreign reserves of a country called Pakistan. Kya situation? Ladies and gentlemen, on the other side, BJP second day of the National Executive Meeting says that we are going to aim to get more seats in 2024 than in 2019. Now, is there a strategy in place for that? Is that possible? What will be the implication of that? Coming up, viewers, in just a few minutes on our second debate.